How can I help you? Oh, can you repeat that? One safe place. This is Katie. How can I help you? Are you an advocate? Um, I'm an intern. Okay, I'll push is the button for an advocate. I can help you with? I'll push the button for an advocate. Can I get your first and last name, please? Well, I have a question. Are people keep on talking and not letting me get a word in edgewise to cover up for a scheme to violate my rights to not get services? And I wanted to go over someone's head because it's been happening years at all domestic violence locations. And if I have multiple different false arrests, that would have someone, um, you know, that's terrifying to have so many people conspire with one party's abuse. So, uh, I mean, each time I call in the, a lot of locations, they talk over me and won't let me get a word in edgewise to ask for help and report staff misconduct and schemes to keep me from services. I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you have any questions that I can help answer? Well, I did go over a lot. Um, the, uh, the advocacy has been denied for me for years. Why won't people oh, advocate for that. me? I'm so sorry to hear that. Can I get your first and last name, please? Yes, it's Kiana, K-E-Y-A-N-A, Clark, C-L-A-R-K. All right. Miss Clark, I'm going to put you on a brief. Ma'am, right you back, did that, okay? ma'am. You did that yesterday, ma'am. 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 Oh, I wasn't in the office yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, someone else. Can I talk? Do you have a supervisor? Because yeah. I want to report staff misconduct. Because when I came there, the police okay. set me up and they denied me of assistance. Okay, and let me blatantly go get my lied. supervisor. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Thanks for holding. How can I help you? Yes, may I have your name? My name is Shaylee. Hello, Shaylee. Uh, or what's your position? I'm the advocacy coordinator here. Oh, great. Yeah, I've been having a domestic violence crisis for years that has involved the police department. And I go to organizations and I try to get assistance, but they cover for the police and scheme to deprive me of services. They have even been assaulted okay. and arrested attending a domestic violence support group. Now what they do is under just other... Just before we get started, okay. can I just get your first and last name just so I know who I'm addressing? Kiana Clark, K-E-Y-A-N-A, Clark, C-L-A-R-K. Okay. I don't think that there's anything that our organization can do to assist can you I at speak, this time. Can I speak, ma'am? Are you scheming to deprive me of services, ma'am? Because you're not giving me any advocacy no, or referral? No, ma'am. I just know that there's nothing that our agency is able to do to assist you. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to disconnect this well, call. You're disconnecting you while I'm speaking, ma'am? This is a crime, ma'am. She hung up. But, you know, this is a lot of experience. No, I would be in tears and have meltdown. This is very, very traumatic. Imagine how my daughter feels. So you have seen someone, an expert of going through this for six years. Now there would be tears and breakdowns. Because, I mean, keep in mind, I, they do, the police department has even schemed with family members. That's extremely traumatic. Can I help you? Yes, I keep repeatedly getting hung up on, and I wanted to know why the organization is depriving me of assistance. And no one's giving me any answers, because if they're doing it in conspiracy, that's indeed a felony charge. You just can't scheme with the police department to deprive someone of services to flee abuse. That's criminal. So the, uh, the organization has not given me any in information on why. First, I had a criminal trespass for a whole year and a scheme to deprive me of getting assistance that way. Now you guys have concocted it's out of your scope for, for someone to be violated yeah. by the government. I'm so sorry, Kiana. Right now, we're not able to assist you, okay? But, I mean, you're not giving me any referrals. She hung up. She's on to my phone. Now they're not answering. Please your name and a safe phone number, and an advocate will call you back to the office for the Northern oh, District of Texas. This is, I'm kind of trying to call the Northern District Court for Civil Friday, Rights Violations, and they're not answering holidays. the phone. Please. 5 p.m. We are unable to take your call at this time. Please feel free to leave a detailed message it's not and a call back number if you'd like. Thank you. That's the Northern District Court. I just wanted to know why the judge, my name is Kiana Clark, and I'm just curious on why the judge didn't report all the crimes I reported to him and being violated, trying to come in and check on my case, giving criminal trespasses and tickets, why nothing was done. I can be contacted back. That's a clear-cut obstruction of justice. So I put in their attorneys to fight police corruption, and this is what I got. Yes, I'm interested in getting legal representation. 
from okay, you guys. Being charged for the crime? I'm sorry. It says um, I put in my phone to get legal representation against multiple false arrests or police corruption. What's the charge? Um, I, it's for the fight police corruption. You want to know what, uh, there's multiple different false arrests. Are you there? Pardon me? There's multiple different false yes, arrests. Yes, I am. I'm, are, you, are you looking for a consultation? There's the multiple different false arrests, ma'am. We're on a, um, I've had problems years with, you know, issues and um, communication called, with calling on my phone. I have 20 false okay. arrests, ma'am. What is that? False arrests. Oh, you have a, you, what's your name? You have a false arrest. What's your name? My name is Sherry. Okay, and what law firm are you with? The Goolsby Law Firm. I think they're con artists. Okay, so um, I would like to combat um, multiple different false arrests and sue the police department. I have a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Well, we don't handle civil cases. Oh, well, it came, you came up this, I've experienced this years, ma'am. Because no one wants no, to take on this multi-million dollar I, case when I call on my phone and they all cover for crimes. I'm sorry, we don't handle civil cases. Yeah, my phone. Do you have any referrals? Because for six years, no one did. No. We sure don't. Hmm. It's like everywhere I call, even attorneys trying to hire them, they cover for crimes, ma'am. You would have to see something like that to believe it. I don't know why my phone keeps no, giving me locations I that can't help. We just don't, we don't work that area. You don't work the area or you don't do, do civil? No, we don't work. We don't work in that area of law. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't okay. found anyone that does for six I years now. Thank you. So another way they scheme to deprive me of services, they um, set up consultations that are really expensive, and that way they know that I won't pay that. Um, they won't. No attorney will take on the case because they're scheming to deprive me of legal representation. But in civil rights attorneys, I know when I told people my searches were controlled, it, people didn't believe it. So there's one location that is not local. And then right here it says litigate litigation when it says civil rights attorneys. So they keep telling me they don't do um, what uh, they don't give the services that I'm calling for. Yeah. Yes. I see on my device that it says that you do CPS investigation or something about CPS investigation. Yes, ma'am. We do. Okay. Um, what is that process like? What exactly do you do? Well, what we do is we defend individuals and families who are in um, involved with CPS. Okay. Um, well, what happens if CPS is cor corrupt? And they keep closing cases. They took, I believe, multiple parties took bribes. And they're scheming to keep me away from my child. And they didn't follow the family code. So I'm looking... Well, um, yeah. we. I would recommend that you have a consultation with the attorney. We do those over the telephone. And the fee for that is $100. Is that something that you're interested in doing? I'll get a little bit more information from you. You know, ma'am, my and experiences then, are really uh, unusual. Because if scammers are on my phone and trying to defraud me out of funds, like what I've experienced years trying to take credit card numbers on a multi-million dollar lawsuit. When will someone interrupt that? Every attorney I call, they want me to pay and get credit card information when I pull a little mm -hmm. searches on my phone. And then it's not going yeah. to, if the location's already compromised, they're covering for crime. So why would I pay money for a con, art, for a con artist to speak with a con artist, ma'am? Police won't do law enforcement. I understand your concern. Yeah, yeah. Do you, I that, mean, do you have I'm... any, let me try this pro bono because they used to try to charge me $50 on the referral line. They tried to convince me it wasn't free and wanted me to pay $50 per attorney they referred. And police oh. won't do law enforcement on me speaking with scammers. They just keep covering for it. Mm -hmm. I just hope they haven't defrauded mm -hmm. anyone else out of funds, ma'am. Because they certainly have defrauded right. me out of a lot of funds. Okay, ma'am, I'll keep trying. Bye -bye. I don't know what's going on with these searches like what I've experienced six years. I'll keep trying.
You for calling to get in the legal group. My name is Rafael. How can I help you today? Yes, you read my phone for civil rights uh, as a civil rights attorney and pro bono. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Can you repeat that for me, please? Yes, you're a civil rights attorney? Uh, this is Ticket in the Legal Group. We specialize in helping people that were injured after a fall or a crash. What type of accident did you suffer? Oh, it says civil. Uh, I, I've experienced this year, sir. It has been impossible, absolutely impossible for me to get legal representation. No one on this planet helps people with civil rights violations, and they are interested in a multi million dollar lawsuit for six years. Uh, the good news is that we may have recommendations for a lawyer who can potentially assist you with your case. Would you oh, well, good, that? because it's been impossible. If I'm not getting pushed and shoved and violated trying to get legal representation or criminal trespasses, tickets, you know, sir, yes, I need I need some kind of help. I appreciate that. Churches right won't help. They let you sit oh. in it. Social workers can fire with abuse, too. Family members t are terrified and won't help. Okay, what are the referrals that you have, sir? Uh, of course. Can I get your first and last name? It's Kiana Clark. Good. Um, it was on my phone when I did searches for civil rights attorney. Okay, are you ready for to take note? Yes, where is this located? Uh, this is a civil lawyer by the name of Terry Canales. They're located in Edinburgh. The number is 956. Oh. 316 2223. I'll repeat that. So that's 956 316 2223. And he's pro bono? It's Terry Canales. He's a civil lawyer. Is he a pro bono? Pro bono. I don't have that exact information. I just you don't have the information, sir? Where is he located? He's located on 2727 West University Drive, Edinburgh, Texas. I'm not sure where that's at. I've never heard of that location. Where is that located? What, what by what main city? It's uh, Edinburgh, Texas. Okay, thank you. Yes, um, I'd like some information on your services. I um, I have a civil case. I'm looking for, for legal representation. Client? I'm sorry. Okay, it, this would be for a new case, correct? I'm sorry. This would be for a new case. Yes. What type of civil case is it that, you're, that you need help with? What I, do you help with? Sorry? What do you help with? We do several um, type of cases. We do criminal, uh, divorce, civil cases. It just depends on the type of case. What civil cases uh, do you help with? It just depends the type of case, ma'am. Um, I, 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 I mean, you're... That that really doesn't make a lot of sense, ma'am. I'm asking you what kind of civil cases do you take? How are you going to get... Yes, it's just depending on the type of case. I just have to know what type of case so I can go ahead and let the attorney if... Um, I can go ahead and ask him if this is something... I'm just calling them around, getting information, and you're making it hard. Do you have a website that will tell me what you help with? So, and what kind of civil cases you represent, since you're not willing to tell me? I've experienced this, ma'am, years. People that I call on my phone were scheming to keep, so I'd never get a representation or any kind of assistance, ma'am. You'd have to see it to believe it. So they're coming up with any kind of con they can on the planet, hoping people that'll believe, since I'm recording my calls, will believe that they ever tried to help when they really didn't. I don't know I'm why attorneys don't you. want a multi-million dollar lawsuit when I'm calling on my phone. Okay, yes, I we can help you. I just need to know some information on what type of cases. It I, it's is hard, ma'am, because I'm asking you what kind of civil cases do you represent, and you are not unwilling to tell me. I am willing to tell you. It's just um, I first need to know because I can't guarantee that the attorney will take all type of civil cases. It's just depending, um, like for instance, we don't do lemon law. Um, we don't do anything that is involving the police, uh, suing the police since the attorney is a state rep that goes um, against what he stands for. No one does, ma'am. 
for six years. You get pushed, shoved, violated, churches becoming con artists in line to keep you from services, family members, children afraid. So, man, I, a lot of people probably didn't understand the frustration in my experience. But when you call someplace six years begging, go in in person begging for help for it to repetitively get denied year after year, turning into six years of chaos. When you get to the extreme where you steal Social Security payments, Attorney General child support payments, food stamps, and you're still free, and kids and family. So, ma'am, I am a little frustrated because I have called six years on my phone and ha it has been impossible for anyone to help, including in person, if I'm not getting violated, pushed, and shoved. I think felonies are well overdue, ma'am. I'm just trying to let these viewers see the living nightmare I've had to endure and the level of con artists and criminal activity that people didn't even know existed. Okay, ma'am, it's fruitless. It's just upsetting because it's already prearranged before you make the phone call. I'm just trying to let people see, ma'am. Okay, thank you. It's fruitless. You're welcome. Have a good day, ma'am.